You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Word. <laughs> wow. Stupid birds. That was cool, huh? Stupid birds didn't get in my way this time. Yeah, stupid birds. <laughs> Caillou and Leo were very impressed by the skateboarder. And they really wanted to try his skateboard. My name's Leo. I'm Caillou. Ever been on a skateboard before? No. Just a quick try. I have to go home soon. Uh. Whee! That was cool. Yes! Gotta go. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Leo. Bye. I went on a skateboard all by myself, Clementine. No, you didn't. I saw you. That boy was holding on to you. Clementine, stupid. Yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Caillou and Leo were very excited about what they had seen and done. They didn't realize how much they had hurt Clementine's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Rosie. I'm cool. <laughs> Stupid cubes. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Rosie, where did you learn that word? Stupid. <laughs> That's not a very nice word, Rosie. Hello? Yes, hi, how are you? Oh, don't worry, I'll be sure to tell him. Okay, bye. Caillou, Rosie's been saying a word that's not very nice. Do you know the word I mean? Yes, Mommy. And Clementine's mommy just called. She was telling me about your afternoon in the park. Apparently, you and Leah weren't very nice to Clementine. But Leo and I were just playing, Mommy. I don't think that's a very good game to play. You hurt Clementine's feelings. I didn't mean to. I think you owe Clementine an apology. Can I call Clementine, Mommy? It's ringing. Clementine? It's me, Caillou. Sorry about calling you stupid. Caillou had apologized to Clementine, and they were both very happy. And as luck would have it, the skateboarder was there too. That's cool! Hi, Caillou. Hey, Clementine, you want to try? <laughs> Yay, Clementine! Caillou meets Robbie. Caillou was so happy to be in the park on such a beautiful day. Look, Mommy, I'm swinging! Whoa! You're gonna touch the treetops pretty soon. <laughs> Push me! Me too! <laughs> Ready? Okay, Rosie and I will be right over here. Caillou wanted to play with the boy, but he felt a little shy. Can I play? Caillou 
didn't understand why the boy was ignoring him. Hello? Mommy, the boy ran away. <laughs> Let's go back and see what was the matter, okay? That's a pretty big castle. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is Caillou and Rosie. It's nice to meet you, too. This is my son, Robbie. We just moved to the neighborhood. He won't play with me. It's not that, Caillou. Robbie didn't see you come up behind him. He was surprised when you tapped his shoulder because he's deaf. What's deaf, Mommy? Well, deaf is when your ears don't work and you can't hear like other people can. It's kind of like when you're wearing earmuffs and can't hear that well. Caillou didn't really understand what they meant. All he knew was that he wanted to play. I'm going to make a big hole. Okay, we'll be right over here. Can I use your shovel? Caillou thought that if he spoke louder, maybe Robbie would hear him. Can I use your shovel? Caillou tried to show Robbie what he wanted to do. Stop that! Let go! Mommy! What is it, Caillou? He's not letting me dig my hole. Why don't you try helping Robbie build his castle? I bet it would be really good if you both worked on it together. Here. Caillou and Robbie were starting to have fun playing together. He didn't understand why Robbie was moving his fingers around. He thought it was a game. Are you all right? I fell off the seesaw. <laughs> Caillou didn't hurt himself, but he was very upset. You're okay now. How about an ice pop? Would that make you feel better? Yes! Pink! I want pink! One cherry and one orange, please. Robbie doing? I think he's saying it's cold. Want a treat? <laughs> Can Robbie come over to our house and play? Sure, if it's okay with his mommy. That's a nice idea, Caillou. How about tomorrow afternoon? Great. See you then. It was nice meeting you, Caillou. Bye. Robbie doing with his fingers? That's sign language. Some deaf people use their hands to talk. Cookie! That must be Evelyn. And Robbie! Hi, everyone. Robbie loves to draw. Do you like drawing pictures, Caillou? That's a rocket ship. I'm going to be a spaceman. I want that one. Caillou felt bad that he had broken Robbie's crayon. He tried to stick it back together, but it didn't work. tried to copy what Robbie was doing, but it was hard. <laughs> Here, 
Robbie were having so much fun pretending to be cats and birds that they didn't ever want to stop. Hey, you two. We hate to interrupt, but it's time to go. No, I want Robbie to stay. Don't worry, Caillou. Robbie will come back and visit soon. Or maybe you can come over to our house next. What's he saying? That's the sign for friend. Robbie is saying that you are his friend. You sign the word like this. Look, Robbie! Caillou felt happy that he had made a new friend and proud that he learned how to say it in a whole new way. The piñata! One day, Caillou got up extra early. Caillou, breakfast! He was waiting for the mail because he was expecting a letter from his friend Xavier. Caillou, what are you doing in here? I'm waiting for my letter. And your breakfast is waiting for you. Come on, I mean it. Your letter will come soon enough. Daddy! Finished, Mommy. Finished? Really? Almost finished, Daddy. Caillou wanted to finish his breakfast as quickly as possible <laughs> so he could get his letter as soon as it arrived. Gilbert! While Caillou was finishing his breakfast, Rosie was picking up his letter. Is my letter here? I'm sorry, Caillou. It'll probably come tomorrow. I want it now, Mommy. Caillou was very disappointed not to get Xavier's letter. But just then, Caillou was sure that was his letter. Rosie, give me that. <gasps> what does it say? It's an invitation to Xavier's birthday party. Only it's not just a party, it's a Mexican fiesta. What's that? It's called a piñata. What's a piñata? Well, it's a kind of game. It's got a surprise inside. What kind of surprise? Well, if Mommy told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? It's a very nice surprise. Tell me, Mommy. It'll be much more fun to find out when you go to the party, don't you think? It's time for the piñata, everybody. There's a big surprise inside the piñata. What is the surprise? Well, if you hit the piñata just right with this stick, it will burst open and you'll find out. Caillou wasn't sure where the piñata was, but he loved playing the game. It was Clementine's turn next. And then Xavier's. <laughs> this is getting very exciting. The piñata almost broke that time. I can do it. Caillou could hear the sound of the surprise, and then he could see the surprise. <laughs> The piñata was full to bursting with candy. <laughs> Caillou's Promise. Okay. 
Okay, you two, that's enough. Caillou, you have to play nicely with your little sister. The sandbox is for both of you. But... No buts. I have to go out now, and I want you to promise me that you will let Rosie play with you. Caillou was upset because he didn't think Mommy was being fair. After all, Rosie had started it. Promise? Okay. Bye, honey. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, do me a favor and clean up the kitchen. Promise? I promise. See you later. Well, I'd better get to it. Do you want to help me wash them, Caillou? Gilbert! Gilbert! No cats on the table! Why don't you let Gilbert outside? Come on, Gilbert! Now that Caillou was alone, he thought it would be a good time to play with his cars. All set. You ready to wash, Caillou? Where'd he go, Rosie? Caillou! Caillou, didn't you want to help me wash the dishes? I'm playing and I don't want Rosie to play in the sandbox with me. Well, do you remember the promise that you made to Mommy? You have to share the sandbox with Rosie, right? It's very important not to break a promise, Caillou. Why don't we let Rosie play a while and, and we can do the dishes? Rosie play! Okay, Rosie, you can play for a little while. Caillou was having a lot of fun helping Daddy even though he was mostly only playing with the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you need to be dried off, too. There. Now that the job's done, what do you say we go to the park? Yay! Caillou was very happy to be playing with his friends in the sandbox. He was especially happy that Rosie wasn't there to destroy everything. Going to the circus today. The circus? Yeah. Our mommy's taking us after lunch. Caillou loved going to the circus. He hadn't been to the circus in a very long time. There's a big tent and an elephant. It's huge. Are you going to the circus too? Caillou didn't know if his parents were going to bring him to the circus, but he sure hoped they would. Too? What circus, Caillou? Jason and Jeffy are going to the circus. They say there's a big tent and an elephant. Elephant! I'm sorry, Caillou. I, I wasn't aware there was a circus in town. But we can't go today. Maybe another day, okay? Can we go tomorrow? When Mommy gets home, I promise to ask her what she thinks about all of us going together, okay? Daddy promised to take me tomorrow. You can come with us today. Caillou thought that was a great idea. Going to the circus with the twins today was much better than having to wait until tomorrow. But we have to ask her mommy. Promise? Bye, Caillou. See you later. Caillou was very excited. He was sure he was going to the circus today with Jason and Jeffrey. Caillou, slow down. You're eating too quickly. I have to hurry. This is Olivia Caillou Grimley. Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. I have to hurry. Jason and Jeffy are coming to get me. They are? They invited me to go to the circus today. Me too. No, Rosie. They're my friends and you're not coming. <laughs> Caillou, that's not very nice. And the boy's mother didn't say anything to me at the park, so I don't think you'll be going with them. But they promised! <laughs> Caillou 
was very upset. He was sure that the twins would bring him to the circus. He didn't understand why they would promise to take him and then not do it. You're very upset, aren't you, Caillou? They promised, Daddy. <laughs> and I told you that it's very important not to break a promise, didn't I? Well, I think the boys promised something a little too quickly. I think they forgot to ask their mommy first. Why? We all forget sometimes. Besides, they're your friends, and I'm sure they really wanted to bring you with them. But I want to go to the circus. I know you do, and we will. Maybe that's them. Hi, Caillou. He was disappointed that it wasn't the twins coming to get him. Caillou, why the long face? Did you know that the circus was in town? I saw the big tent they put up on the way home. Caillou knows about it. Did you guys have a nice day? Yes, Caillou helped me with the dishes. And I let Rosie play in the sandbox, just like I promised. I know. Let's go to the circus. Really? Now? Rosie, come on, we're going to the circus. Yay! Caillou was very happy that he was going to the circus and that he didn't have to wait until tomorrow after all. A surprise for Mommy. I want to get Mommy a present, but I just can't think of what she'd like. Can you think of anything, Caillou? No, Daddy. Looks like you need a hand. Hold on to the Rosie Mobile, please. Hi, Caillou. Look at our picture. Can we get one too, Daddy? Perfect. Perfect? Yes, that would make a fantastic present for Mommy. What a great idea. Are those umbrellas? Yes, they're for the flash. They make the light bounce all around. Why don't we make this photo a surprise for Mommy, okay? Caillou thought that was a very good idea. Okay, Daddy. But that means we have to keep it a secret. Think you can do that? Yes. We mustn't tell Mommy about it at all. We don't want to spoil the surprise, do we? So we zip our lips. Okay? Hi, everybody. I'm Bryce. Okay, now how about you two give me a great big smile? I don't think we got it that time. Let's do another one. Smile, please. Hmm, we need to find a way to make Rosie smile. Caillou thought he knew a way to make Rosie smile. Rosie likes this. Maybe if I stand by the camera and show it to her. Watch the dinosaur, Rosie. Perfect. You can come back here and pick up the photo tomorrow. Let's go you know where to pick up you know what. Are you two ever going to tell me your big secret? It's a fo- Uh-oh. It's a surprise, Mommy. If we tell you, it won't be a surprise. Caillou felt very proud that he had kept the surprise a secret. And I don't suppose you're going to tell me either. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? To you know where? To pick up you know what? <gasps> oh, thank you! I love my present. It was a very good surprise, too. Thank you for keeping it a secret. And now that we don't have to keep it a secret anymore, we can unzip our lips. <laughs> Caillou misses Sarah.
Caillou, can you guess which one goes in front of the birdhouse and which one goes in the back? I know. This is where the birds can come in. Could you hand me that piece of wood? Now I'm going to glue the floor on before I nail it. See? We're going to take care of Sarah's house while her family is away. Let's see. It's a list of reminders of things to check around Sarah's house. You're leaving? Yeah, I'm going to be gone the whole summer. But I'll be back. Come and see what we're building. Okay, but I can't stay long. Look, Sarah, the birds come in through here. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to help, too? Can we paint it, Daddy? Sure. I'll bring it upstairs. I'll get my paint. I'm making a snake. <laughs> Look. Your snake has chicken pox now. <laughs> Sarah! That was your mom on the phone. You have to go home and finish packing. Caillou didn't want Sarah to leave. He wanted to continue painting the birdhouse with her. Have a great trip, Sarah. Have a wonderful vacation. Bye. Bye, Caillou. I'll see you when I get back. Caillou was already looking forward to when Sarah would come back. Caillou, but Sarah will be gone for a couple of weeks. Why don't you go ahead and finish painting it? Okay. That looks great, Caillou. Sarah helped, too. Well, you two did a great job. I bet she'll be happy to see it when she comes back. I'm leaving to go check on Sarah's house. Would you like to come, too? Yes! this. We'll take it inside the house. I want to do it. All right. Now, let's see. Where's that checklist that Sarah gave me? The house was very quiet, and Caillou thought it was strange to be in Sarah's house when she wasn't there. Ah! Oh, Caillou, it's only mm -hmm. Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Supper time. Only one scoop, Caillou. I'll take care of his water. Ollie ate all his food, Mommy. Let's see. We brought in the mail, fed the cat. Now we have to water the plants. Can I do it? And so Caillou toured the house to water the plants with Mommy. We're all done. When is Sarah coming home, Daddy? Caillou! It's a postcard for you all the way from China. It's from Sarah. From Sarah? It says, Dear Caillou, I am visiting lots of relatives in China. I'm having a lot of fun. Then it says, I can't wait to show you pictures. Please give a hug to Ollie for me. I miss you all. Love, Sarah. When is Sarah coming back, Daddy? 
Not for another few weeks, Caillou. Rosie! Rosie! I got a postcard from China! I'll be right back, Caillou. I have two more plants to water. Hi, Ollie. Here's a hug from Sarah. Caillou thought it was taking a very long time for Sarah to come back. He missed her very much. Ready to go? House, Caillou. Want to come and help me? Woozy, too! Why don't we all go? Mommy, the door is open. Hey. Ollie, where are you going? Aren't you happy to see me? Sarah! Sarah was finally home. Caillou was very happy to see her. Caillou! Ni hao! What? Ni hao! It means hello in Chinese. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for taking care of everything. We were glad to help. Did you have a nice trip? It was great. Sarah, I have to show you our birdhouse. Come on! Real birds live in it now. Wait, I have something for you. What is it? Here, let me help you. It's a fan. Wow! Bernie! Caillou was very happy to see Sarah again. <laughs> T-shirt trouble. Caillou's mommy had to run some errands, so he was staying with his grandma for the afternoon. Ready to surprise Grandma Caillou? My favorite little visitor. But why are you wearing a jacket on such a warm day? Look, Grandma. Caillou wanted to show you his new shirt. Do you like it? It's wonderful. Blue suits you, Caillou. I'd better be going. See you in a bit. Bye. See, it's got a pocket, too. So it has. Why don't we go inside and celebrate your fancy new t-shirt with a little snack? Okay. We went to a store. I picked it myself from a shelf way up high. Oh, no! That's okay, Caillou. It was an accident. Grandma, my shirt! A little stain remover should do the trick. Let's give it a try. But first, let's go and find you something else to wear. <laughs> I look funny. <laughs> it's a little on the long side, but I think you look very handsome in Grandpa's shirt. Now, let's go tackle that stain. I want to do it. It's still there. I'm sorry, Caillou. I've tried everything, but the stain just won't come out. Caillou was upset. Now that his shirt was stained, he didn't want to wear it anymore. I don't like juice. Here, let's put it in the recycling bin. I have an idea. We could recycle your shirt into something extra special. All we have to do is add some more stains. More? Caillou didn't understand what Grandma meant. Then we tie knots like this, and it'll make a pretty pattern. You'll see. Pretty patterns? Uh-huh. Hand me the T-shirt. Now we'll dye it with the grape juice. Why don't you put it in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> when it's dry, you can put it back on. This time you can surprise Mommy with your extra special shirt. It doesn't look special. Caillou thought his shirt looked very strange. He was beginning to wish he could have his old shirt back again. Caillou, Mommy's here. Here I am. Caillou, your shirt. I got juice on it so Grandma and me recycled it. See, 
It's special now. It certainly is. It's the brightest shirt I've ever seen. It's a one-of-a-kind shirt. No one else will have one like it. Caillou thought his shirt looked even better than before. He couldn't wait to go home and show Rosie and Daddy. A helping hand. Caillou was spending the day with Grandma. He was very happy because Grandma was babysitting Caillou's favorite dog, Rover. Rover, fetch! <gasps> Can you help me put this in the picnic basket? Are we going on a picnic, Grandma? No, but we are going out. Would you like to come and visit some friends of mine today? Can we bring Rover? I always do. My friends love to see Rover, and they'll be even happier to meet you. I speak about you all the time. Caillou had never met Grandma's friends before. Where do your friends live, Grandma? We're going to visit my friends at the retirement home. What's a retirement home? It's a place where elderly people who can't live by themselves can go and be taken care of. You're old, Grandma. How come you don't live there? <laughs> I'm still young enough to look after myself and Grandpa. But I like to stop by with some baked goods and help out a bit. It's fun. You'll see. Rover, wait! <laughs> Rover loves coming here. All my friends love him. Hold on tight, Caillou. We don't want him running around, okay? Okay, Grandma. Come on, Rover. I made a sandwich for my friend, Mr. Jenkins, and I baked some cookies for him as well. Cookies? <laughs> Mr. Jenkins isn't the only one who loves my cookies, is he, Caillou? like you're both tangled up. Now, Rover, you be a good dog. Hello. Who might you be? Caillou. And who's that? Grandma and Rover. Hi, Mr. Jenkins. I asked my grandson, Caillou, to bring in your snack while I keep an eye on Rover here. I know he bothers your allergies. Oh, that's silly. Come on in and bring the little feller with you. Is that your dog, Caillou? No, I have a cat. <laughs> well, that looks an awful lot like a dog to me. Well, I'm very glad to meet you, Caillou. Your grandma talks about you all the time. You're very lucky to have such a terrific grandma, Caillou. I bet you love her cookies just as much as I do. Here you go. I don't like to eat a little... <laughs> Gesundheit! Come on, Caillou. We have to take Rover away from Mr. Jenkins now. Goodbye, Caillou. <laughs> Come in. Hello, Mrs. Murphy. How are you today? I'm great. Oh, look, and you brought Rover with you. Come here, puppy. Oh, and this must be your grandson, Caillou. It's so nice to finally meet you. I was just playing cards. Do you know how to play, Caillou? Would you like me to teach you a game that I play with my granddaughter? Here, sit down and I'll show you how. Caillou, would you like to stay here with Mrs. Murphy while I go visit Mrs. Peterson? Oh, I would love that. We can play cards together. How about it? Caillou felt a little shy with Mrs. Murphy, but he was really curious about her card game. I have a special deck of cards I use when my granddaughter visits. See, they have animals on them. This is called the memory game. You place all the cards face down on the table, and you have to pick two cards that are the same. Here, I'll try first. Now it's your turn, Caillou. You've got it. You're good at this. It's your turn again. Caillou was having a lot of fun. He loved playing cards with Mrs. Murphy. 
And he was good at it, too. You win! <laughs> I won, Grandma! Congratulations! I'm giving my exercise class now. Would you like to come along, Mrs. Murphy? Maybe another day. I think I'll read for a bit. We'll play again next time, okay, Caillou? Whenever Amy wins, she always gets one of these. Would you like to exercise with us, Caillou? It's fun. It's kind of like a game. You can finish this after. All right, everyone. Let's all take a deep breath and limber up a bit. Okay, now stretch as high as you can. Now shake it loose, everyone. That's it. Shake, shake, shake like a wet dog. <laughs> upset that he ran away. And now Rover was lost. Rover! Caillou, what's wrong? Are you lost? No, Rover's lost. Don't worry, he can't be very far. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Did you find Rover? I looked everywhere, Grandma. Oh, sweetie, don't be upset. Rover knows his way around this place. He usually ends up somewhere that he's not supposed to be. somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Jenkins. No harm done. He was scratching at my door. Rover wants more cookies, Grandma. What'd I tell you, Caillou? Everyone loves your grandma's cookies. <laughs> 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 